This is Mark Tobias in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, uh, with Bershar Al Zubaidi. And you're uh, with FLIR, which is an American corporation. And FLIR actually stands for Forward Looking Infrared, but it's also the name of the company. And we want to talk today about what, what your company is doing in infrared and all the different markets because I saw some really neat new handheld devices today. Um, first of all, you serve a lot of countries throughout the world. You've, you've pioneered this technology, is that correct? Okay. And what are your typical applications? When, um, as FLIR, we are um, manufacturing different products which covering different sectors, uh, starting from the border control going to the security thermography application and medical application. Even we have some products um, uh, you can install it inside the car to protect the driver like what we are doing with BMW by installing our thermal camera in the front of the car. So you can see, well first of all, infrared sees through fog, some rain and darkness. Well yes, our technology you can see in all weather condition. Uh, you can see through smoke, fog, haze. Also, you don't need any light. Right. So you can see clearly without any light, and there is no dead zone inside, uh, if you're using our uh, thermal technology. Yes, and th you also have uh, not only security, but a major energy sector. Is that correct? Well, uh, yes, we have something called thermography technology. This one usually will allow you to uh, make something called preventive maintenance for uh, uh, your building, your industrial facility. Yes, and what, what the what's really neat, and I, I used one of those today. In fact, I had them take a picture of me. Um, it senses heat, temperature. Yes, we uh, our camera usually we we, we say that uh, we can see heat, we cannot see light. That's the major difference. Our camera makes something called uh, make thermal scanning for the target at it, and uh, then it will convert the temperature to picture yes and what's so it's it, and the lens is not a normal lens because it doesn't focus light it focuses heat exactly we are using something uh, something called germanium lens yes it's a green metal it's yes. special one usually it, it usually it uh, it's a special uh, lens to collect the infrared reflection of the body or the body radiation yes what's really cool about it it's a solid lens and it's an uh, expensive lens also. and a very expensive very lenses expensive. and we're talking the handheld that I played with today is about twenty five thousand dollars yes also we have a new handheld we call it BHS um, uh, it's biocular handheld usually uh, this is a very powerful one which will allow you usually to uh, detect a human up to 2.5 kilometer and uh, vehicles boats up to six kilometers so for example royal families in the Middle East mm -hmm. they are using these cameras for perimeter protection to detect intruders well most of them yes yes they are using this yes. latest technology yeah and you're now as I understand it seventh generation technology that the military is using? Well, uh, now uh, we are uh, planning to release a new generation of thermal camera. Uh, we call it Tau 2.2. This one, uh, it's very advanced. It will allow you to use it as a CCTV camera, security camera, uh, plus it has something called radiometric sensor. This one also will allow you to uh, read the temperature of the target. You can use it in the future as a fire alarm uh, technology. Oh, very cool. So let's talk about two specific applications. One is medical and one is law enforcement and security. Okay. So the medical application, one of the things that caught my attention many years ago that you pioneered is race horses. Okay. And in Kentucky, like at the Kentucky Derby, they're using these cameras to look at racehorses to see if they've got any problems. Exactly. Is this a big market? Well, in the GCC, yes, you know, most of the people they are right. interested uh, in having horses, especially the princes, uh, royal families, right. sheikhs. Very expensive horses. Yes, yes, exactly. So they are using it. Also, you can use the thermal technology for t detecting a flu. You know that yes, the SARS. outside temperature of the human is around 35.5 uh, centigrade. So right. you can adjust the camera if 
the temperature of the human uh, goes more than that, it will give you alarm, especially in the airports. And it's already installed in so, so many airports in the Middle East. Yes, I remember when I was coming through uh, the airports in Asia during the SARS epidemic. Exactly. The, every airport I went through were scanning all the passengers, like Taiwan, Hong Kong, Japan. Everybody was scanned for temperature. Exactly. So now, is this becoming standard? Um, it's not really. Whenever the most usually of the European countries and North Africa, they are using this technology, and Lebanon, I believe. Okay. And and again, you said BMW is incorporating in their vehicles for FLIR, so that you can see pedestrians, deer, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now uh, BMW, they are uh, they start putting is as option in the five, six, and seven series. This will allow you, if you are using our thermal camera, to see more than. Uh, uh, 500 meter so it's five times more than the normal eye and it will give like advanced alarm if some uh, animal cut in front of the car so it can, can reduce uh, the speed uh, automatically right that's that's really a neat application and so in the security application if we put perimeter cameras around a facility exactly and then you tie that i'm assuming with motion detection software yes so the minute anything is moving out there in total darkness you're going to get an alarm well yes we have something called thermal virtual fence okay. usually yes. it's like replacement for the normal ordinary system if you're using our thermal technology first of all you can use it for long distance starting from 200 meter up to 21 kilometer one single camera uh, second point you reduce the maintenance installation uh, efforts and uh, you will save money uh, by uh, because usually thermal technology you don't need any lighting in right. the location uh, you will have few installation points uh, it's more uh, powerful and you can see in all weather condition so what's coming in the next generation that's different than now just more sensitivity what what's the difference well mainly we just release uh, the uh, highest resolution as thermal camera available in the market it's 640 by 480 pixel okay. it's four times higher than the previous uh, uh, generation the second point uh, we uh, we will have built-in radiometric sensor it's very sensitive you can use it for medical purpose to detect for example the flu you can use it for uh, fire alarm it's very accurate because you will have feedback picture and uh, the temperature of the target so the uh, it will be very accurate uh, the third point uh, as i told you uh, we have something called video analytic it will help you uh, uh, as thermal virtual fence to use it also for detecting the target. So we'll use it as CCTV, medical purpose, and also for fire alarm. And I think the important point to note for your technology is you can't beat it. Is that correct? Well, yes. Usually, uh, as I told you, uh, even uh, if you are looking to uh, highlight like sunlight or floodlight, you can, uh, you can still see if there is uh, smoke, fog, haze, bad weather condition. If there is, you know, at night, there's something like uh, night shadows. Uh, people t try to hide using those dead zone. Our camera can see through all this technology. Also, our camera, it's passive camera. It doesn't give any power or so it uh, doesn't reflect any passive. power. But it's not uh, pass uh, passive uh, t technology. Right. So no one can detect that you are using this technology. So it doesn't generate any radio frequency, energy? Nothing. So there's Nothing. no way you can scan for it to yes. know that it's in operation. Exactly. Yeah, that's a very important point. So the, the real question is, there's no way, like in certain alarm systems, you can spoof the alarm system so that they don't know you're there. In certain motion detection systems, certain infrared and microwave systems, you can fool them. Will, uh, as I told you, no one can detect the camera unless you get inside the, if you're using, for example, radars or whatever. Now, we can usually improve our camera by using, uh, integrated it with radars. If you are using radars with our camera, radar. our camera radar, yeah. yes, it will be the eye of this radar. For example, if you detect 
usually radar can detect targets up to 5, 10, 15 kilometers. Right. But if the radar detects more than one target, how you will know that this target is vehicle or enemy or whatever? You, by using our camera with, with less than three seconds, you can right click, engage the, the, our camera with the target and you can know immediately if it's enemy or a friend. What's the most unique application for your products well, uh, in your experience? Uh, our most unique uh, application usually uh, the border application mm -hmm. because there is no replacement for our camera. Uh, our border camera can detect a human up to 18 kilometers and vehicles up to 21 kilometers. If you integrate with So radar, five miles away. Exactly. So in this case, there's no replacement for this one, especially for big borders like uh, the GCC, the, the borders which yeah, almost like, a, like America. Like America also. Uh, is America a big customer? The well, southern border? Uh, well, uh, yes, America. Most of the borders in the region, we are, we, we are uh, covering it with our thermal camera. Why? Because we have two main features. We have a new technology called DDE, Digital Detail Enhancement, which usually gives us the highest resolution and contrast in the picture. So you can even identify the target if you're using our technology. Second thing, we have something called continuous optical zoom in the thermal, which is really complicated if you're using the germanium lens. Uh, but uh, in our case, we can uh, make continuous optical zoom, not like our competitors. It ne uh, they are doing the zooming in steps. Can you make identifiable pictures of people or just the fact that we have a body at a certain temperature range, we know it's a person or persons, but can, is, is it possible to make identifiable photographs through germanium lenses? Well, uh, using the DDE technology, it became, uh, the picture became, um, uh, let's say, higher resolution, so you can make identification if you know, if you have feedback about right. that. But yes, it became much better, and, and you can make some identification of that. I, I know years ago I was involved in a serial murder case, mm -hmm. and we used FLIR uh, with the FBI aircraft in America. Mm -hmm. We were looking for a burial site, mm -hmm. and we used FLIR for that to, to look for, for a new grave site because the temperature would be different in the ground yes exactly this one also it's another uh, we call it the heat signature of the target yes usually uh, yes uh, anybody uh, if you touch any uh, target usually uh, uh, you will leave something called the heat signature yeah so uh, you can read this heat signature using our thermal technology yeah i was doing that today we were shooting pictures of footprints and handprints and we could pick them up after you're gone, which is very important in a crime scene if you're there quickly enough. Exactly. So, is there? You're the world leader in this technology. You developed it, mm -hmm. and uh, FLIR has been around, as I understand, for about 30 years. Exactly. And you're headquartered in Portland, Oregon, but you have customers all over the world. Exactly. We we have different uh, manufacturing facilities all around the world. We have also so many offices all around the world. Why are the germanium lenses so expensive? Well, <laughs> we, we are getting this uh, metal from uh, Africa. Um, it's very difficult to get big quantities for this um, uh, metal. That's why it became uh, it's uh, expensive technology. Uh, and so, the f do you see a bigger market in the future because of all the security requirements? Sure, sure. Our our market became bigger and bigger, especially that we are replacing the infrared technology with our technology. Right. Bashar, thank you very much for your time today. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.